Next question is from Neal Robert Curran. Can you recommend a good shoe for squatting and deadlifting? Does it make a difference or would you bother? Different shoes for, for these here. Yeah, it really depends on the person too. Mm. So ideally, okay, let's say you have great mobility, great stability, good foot strength, everything looks good. Uh, barefoot or as barefoot, as close to barefoot as possible would be best for all lifts. Yeah. because Flexible, flat uh, soles. Yeah, because you're working with your feet are strong, your ankle mobility is good, hip mobility is good, everything looks good. Now, what you don't want is you don't want something under your foot that's going to be a crutch or prevent you from strengthening all your stability, right? But that's not typically the case, right? With most people, they have issues. And so let's say you have bad ankle and foot mobility and strength, and you go and try and do barefoot deadlifting or barefoot, squat, uh, barefoot squatting especially, mm. you you might hurt yourself. So in that case, you might want to transition and start with something that has a strong, stable sole, especially for squatting, mm -hmm. something that maybe has a little bit of a heel rise in it. So squat shoes, very stable, a little bit of a heel rise. I don't think you should stay there. I think you should slowly and gradually work on your ankle mobility and your foot mobility in order to do that. Deadlifts, uh, you, you probably do want um, a, you know, a nice, strong sole, but flat because you want to be lower to the ground. Mm. If you have a little bit of a rise in your ankle, and, you and deadlifts don't require nearly as much ankle mobility as squats do. Um, and so you, and also if you have a rise in your heel, it just throws your weight forward anyway, which makes it the deadlift yeah, no, I, less I, effective. I'm, yeah. You have to address this because it's, it's a popular thing I see. I don't know why this is common. Um, and maybe it's just because I think the people that buy the shoes don't understand. Like, Using uh, squat shoes with heel raises in a deadlift is silly. It's yeah. you're making it more challenging for yourself. Yeah, no, you're not. You're not helping yourself whatsoever. You want to be lower. Yeah, you want to be as close to the ground as your heels as flat <laughs> yeah, as possible. Heels, yeah, yeah, you're you're adding an extra Glued. inch uh, of pull that you have to do now. So uh, squat shoes, while and that's why they're called squat shoes and not deadlift shoes. You know, wearing those shoes while you're also deadlifting is not ideal. You know, it's interesting though. Like, so um, when Sal was actually the first person to introduce uh, squat shoes to me, again, I was never into powerlifting, even lifting very heavy. And this was back when we were really picking apart my squat and trying to improve it. And Sal was like, you should really try these squat shoes, see if it really helps you out. And boy, it was. It was a game changer for me because I lacked the ankle mobility. And so there, I went on a kick for a while where I was wearing squat shoes a lot when I was squatting because I did feel a lot better. Because uh, it did, it, it it was crutching my my uh, my lack of mobility in my ankles. Then I went on that whole hardcore kick of working on mobility. Got rid of the shoes, didn't do it at all. Trained a lot of barefoot training. Now what I love to do because I train mostly in chucks or barefoot most of the time, but every once in a while I'll go to do like some heavy squats and I'll throw those squat shoes on and it's like, it's a, like turbo. Yeah. It's like a tur. It's like because now I'm getting an extra inch that I don't have to squat in a sense, right? Mm -hmm. When you think about that, that's I have less range of motion that my knee has to travel, and so it's easier. So if I if I've done a good job of working on my ankle and hip mobility for a long time consistently, which I have, and most of the time squatting in flat shoes or barefoot, every once in a while when I throw them squat shoes on, it's like it reminds me of the feeling of having the belt, and not having the belt. It's yep. like when you train mostly without a belt, then you go throw that sucker on there once in a while. It's like oh you get a little extra gear out of it so yeah it's interesting because um i mean i i did i probably wore running shoes and like cross trainers a lot in my career just because the athletic background and whatnot like it was a lot more movement based and running and you know athleticism and all that kind of stuff and when i actually was in this gym i saw a lot of my uh co-workers wearing chucks and like they were doing everything in chucks or these like those five finger shoes mm -hmm. and i you know i was the guy making fun of them and you know all that kind of stuff um but start to realize i mean the having running shoes running shoes are literally engineered to get you to uh, be able to move forward like everything is moving forward nothing is considered and side cushion. to side and cushion and, cushion. <laughs> and so it's like i mean i can't tell you how many times i almost rolled my ankle just tr going side to side or twisting and rotating or doing anything like that that's the worst shoe that you could train in uh so i just wanted to throw that out there that's a great point oh dude you ever see someone heavy squat and they've got like nike max air running shoes it's like they're standing on Dyna discs. They've yeah. got these. Yeah. You don't want to use running shoes for heavy lifting because there's so much cushion that they're unstable unless that's that's what you're trying to do. It's and great. to Justin's point, left to right, which is where you see those injuries happen. Lots oh, of injuries in that direction. And you, have you guys seen the deadlift shoes that powerlifters use? Just back to what you were saying about not wearing squat shoes. Deadlift shoes, have you seen them? Uh-uh. 
they look like socks. Yeah. That's how uh, thin yeah. Yeah. that's how thin they make the sole because you want to be flat and low to the ground. Yeah. So yeah, don't wear yeah. anything with a heel rise if you're deadlifting. I, I work out in my garage. That's when I go barefoot. I take off my shoes, uh, flat to barefoot the floor. Barefoot is liberating. I mean, you got to work your way there, but it's definitely a whole other experience. Absolutely.